Welcome back, my friends. Welcome to another lecture. Here we will start doing a little bit CRUD application. We are not done with Eloquent. We need to do. We need to learn how to get all, or in simple words, how we can models, how the models can communicate with the database. So we need to fetch all the data. We need to put it in the view. But I don't want to show you these before we start creating some application. All right. And our application is is not uh, it's does we don't we don't have any saving we don't have anything in the database and we need to do it manually so I don't want to do this so this is why I choose to follow this path and I think you will like it because it doesn't matter how much I I'm telling you now we, without real coding without real working on that simple project it's still a project it's a simple CRUD application but it's still a project that you will learn how to do things that's why we need to do it i i hope that this is the right way so now the one more thing that I, last time i told you that available column types this is for database column types right so these are available for name email for posts right so these are available data types and you can go laravel.com docs 5.8 migrations even if you change this one to six point it's not going to be much different let's change it so yeah this is available com uh, column type so if you have want to save something uh like characters date date time uh decimal double here it is this is available column types for your databases uh tables so now let's start working with let's start fixing things uh, because i don't like the way we have it here so i don't want to have block because we do have posts i just want to have post here and let's just save that one and i will open it out and we will write php artisan can you see it probably artisan um route so now our route list should be updated to post. So we have post, post create, post post, post edit. I like this more. Now we changed this part, but we didn't change this one. And my idea is to list all of the posts in index. And we're not gonna have it this one. This here, I will say here we will list all of the available posts that's very good now what else do i need here for now i'm just going to leave it like that but we need to fix the controller um so we have the posts controller now this post i just want this one to return the view of index and i'm just going to uncomment that one right for now we don't we don't need it but it will return this post of index now if you see this here if we can just create route for i mean uh, we can just link this one straight like that now if i just go here and add slash post we will see that view this view actually that we just change it from uh, from block to index now we don't do much here but let's try finding our way how we can do how what what we can do for example to display the posts so first i would like to go to the home home.blade.php and here instead of dear user we can just put it here we can just we know that the user has a name and we can put username and I don't know why it didn't close it by itself. It should be self-closing this one. Now let's go to the home. Very oops. Uh, we are not registered actually yet because our database is empty. So I'm just gonna create Rick. Um, Gmail.com. Very good. We are now we are in the dashboard Rick and we are logged in as a user Rick. That's very good. But now here, what we can do, we can create one div here. That div will go under your logged in as Rick. And if this div should be display flex. And let's say deflex. 
So we're using bootstrap, remember we can do this now. And I will say justify, oh, let's make it like this. And inside here, I will also justify the content to be around. Very good. Now inside I want to have two links. First link is to create the post. The second link will be to view the post from here. So I just want to click and I want to go here to this page right, where I can view all of the posts. But at the moment that's not possible because we don't have the links. So how we can create links? I'm just going to say href or H a link here. And now I'm not going to use link here. And I will say view create. First, it will be create post posts. Oops, what I did. The second link will be um, well. Second link will be for the viewing the post. So view all all posts or view posts only. View posts and uh, makes uh, more a little bit like um, more natural for me. Now here. We don't have anything else, just index. So how we can do this? So we can use route method. And this route method is working if we have specified the name. So if I do this post.index in quotations, single quotes, post.index, it should give me post. It, it, it will be the same as we are doing post uh, like post slash post only let's see what's, what will happen now here i have create posts and there are um let's add class before that so class i will add class to be a button although we are linked we can make them to be a button button let's put a dark here and because we are still here we can do view post and the other one will be Let's create a route here, but this route, it's not there anymore. So if you click it, it will be, uh, it will generate an error. So it's not block. So I'm still in my mind. I still think that we are dealing with block. So create, it will be another view that we will create just in a couple of seconds. And I just want to have a class here, same BTN, but let's say BTN info. Let's make it different a little bit. Now I do have this one. Why is create post not working? Because it's BR, BRN, it should be BTN. That's why it's not working. Now I do have this create post. I do have this view post, but I don't want to be that. I just want a more margin to the top of five. This is all bootstrap classes. Now it looks nicer. So if I click on the view post, here it is, it's working. It's going straight to the post. To the actual index to this one sorry to this view so we are in some pointing the view now the other one it's pose.create so if i click now if i go back if i refresh i don't need to refresh by the way so if i click it now post create but it's not showing me anything because this post create it's not i um, mean um, what we can do we can copy this one we it's not created so we should say create dot blade dot php and inside create post we will say or add post not create add post very good now let's see what's what will happen and it's not working for some reason create create yeah, let's just rename this one. I mean, I'm just going to copy this one because my, I might have done the pose.create and it should be, wait, uh, wait a minute because here I do have pose.create. So why it's not going to post slash create? This is a little bit strange. Why it's not? Oh, yes, because we haven't set the view. <laughs> we haven't set the view. And that should be in the post controller. Sorry, guys, I, I just froze up for a second. So in our post controller, we need to go to the create method, right? Because the create method, look at here. The post.create requires store, uh, sorry, post.create requires create method. 
So we need to link this create method to return a view. And this will post that create. Now, if we refresh, here it is, add post. And it should be with double, uh, I mean, with double D, add post. So we're done for the links. Now you know why we can use, why we can name. And by the way, when we use a resource, where is it? In the web, uh, sorry, if we go back to web.php, I'm gonna shrink this one. So if we if you use resource, the Laravel is so smart that it will give you these names. So you can use these names. By the way, if you don't want to, you can exclude some of the methods not to be created here, and you can put the name. We will learn how to do that by ourselves. But the thing is that in every name here, you need to go to the controller method, and you need to tell what to do. For example, it wasn't showing because we are not we were not returning any view, and this one was working because in the index actually if we go back now the post slash post actually it's going post index and that requires to the post controller index in the post controller index we do have returning this view so for this lecture we are pretty much done so what we are doing we we, we did we just add two links here we changed um our block to post and also we changed here, we had block.index, so, but it was commented, so it was not uh, active. So we did a couple of changes there, and we are not done with Eloquent, don't worry, we will create more things. But first, I want you to show you how we can do this. Now, if I go to create post, I will need to see form here. But for that, we're going to install something, um, we're going to install a package, and I hope you're going to like it, and that will be for using a Laravel collective, collective forms. You, we can use any PHP form, but we can use as well that package. And I would like to show you two ways. So if you see somewhere uh, those type of, um, how to say, syntax, you're not gonna be freak out to say, okay, well, what was this? I haven't done this one before. So that's my, um, my way of doing things. So let's uh, work in the next lecture with, and create this form. So thank you very much. See you in the next lecture. Bye.